Washington's army gets buried in the snow, a pro wrestler gets the power to veto, Utah becomes a monogamous state, Nixon keeps tapes of Watergate. How did these four and more get together in tributary? Well, they all occurred on the 4th of January. In 1780, a snowstorm hits Washington's army at Morristown, New Jersey, dumping four feet of snow as one of 28 snowstorms they received that winter. In 1893, U.S. President Cleveland grants amnesty to Mormon polygamy. On that note, in 1896, following Mormon abandonment of polygamy, Utah is admitted as the 45th state. Good decision, guys. Why would a man want more than one wife? In 1936, Billboard magazine publishes its first musical hit parade. In 1959, USSR's Luna 1 becomes the first spacecraft to leave the Earth's gravity. In 1961, the longest recorded strike ends as Danish barbers' assistants end their 33-year strike. How do you do that? You just don't work for 33 years? They don't look like they're starving. In 1965, LBJ gives his Great Society State of the Union address. In 1974, President Nixon refuses to hand over his tapes subpoenaed by the Watergate Committee. In 1999, former professional wrestler Jesse Ventura is sworn in as the governor of Minnesota. In 2007, the 110th United States Congress convenes and elects Nancy Pelosi as the first female Speaker of the House. And in 2022, Toyota becomes the first foreign automaker to top U.S. sales, beating GM in 2021 partly due to the supply issues and mostly due to the fact that Toyota makes better cars. What happened each date won't be a mystery if you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe, plus check out the comments for even more January 4th history. Did I even get close on that one?